it's a good evening here tonight. Tonight we're at St Mary's in Fotherby. I was just sitting down basking in the ambience of the village here in Fotherby. The birds tweeting, the sun is slowly setting minute by minute. It's been a glorious few days here in Lincolnshire. So we've got St Mary's here behind me. There is an older site and then there's um, been a mass restoration project. I do believe by James Fowler in the Victorian era. So let's go check it out. So we've got some ancient steps there. So you would have had, a, again, funeral processions and wedding carriages coming down here. And uh, bride and grooms coming up or carrying caskets, which would have been tricky in the day. Well, I was right on my heel, that was then. My Achilles heel. Oh, yeah, you got your traditional... These look like George the Fifth era. A bit later, 20th century ones here, not your uh, neoclassical Victorian era ones. It's a lovely, beautiful evening. There's an abundance of birds tweeting, welcoming us into St Mary's in Fotherby. They're just Fotherby situated just outside of Louth, in between Louth and Grimsby. You can see this uh, this tower does look uh, the Victorian era. You've got some uh, of the chalk blocks we've seen in uh, earlier churches on a Barefoot Chronicle series. There's this, uh, I've just learned about the chalk band that stretched from Irby upon Humber and then there's one a few miles away from uh, Ravendale which we will be visiting. So I'd like to have a look to see where all these chalk blocks was uh, quarried from. You can see the uh, support columns there, there's the older like Saxon Norman church here previously probably would have been destroyed during the Viking invasion or the English Civil War and the, the Royalists, the, the loyal to King Charles the first uh, they was ransacking the churches um, robbing them of the valuables and melting the gold and the silver down into musket balls um, We have uh, some, uh, probably a Christ or St. Mary would have been up there. It's been removed, unfortunately. It's quite sad. See, there's uh, this ancient sandstone, ironstone block here. It's definitely reminiscing earlier site. We've got this band here. You've got this, uh, the Victorian uh, window. It's not as elaborate as a medieval type one. Hello. Hi, anyway. Yeah, it's a splendid evening. Hello. Oh, you're lovely. What's your name? Billy. Billy. Oh, are you Billy? Oh. Ah, splendid little church, this. You've got a good few chalk blocks. Limestone, ironstone, sandstone. You've got the old slate Victorian window uh, roofing. Yeah, 1863. Guarantee you, John uh, James Fowler, the Victorian architect, He's had a hand uh, trying to restore this, this church, St Mary's and Fotherby. So this is part of your ancient, ancient church. This looks, uh, these look original. I do believe they are as well, up to there. And you see this has been restored 
on this side and the window. <clears throat> and these support columns are 800,000 years old. Probably 1,200. So, yeah, you've got um, Joel Allenby. The Allenby family, quite a significant um, family in the area. There's an old woman. Like a pretty elaborate tomb memorial. And some uh, nice little cottages that we came in. And I do think that Everett Allenby, who's mentioned here, um, he would have named James Fowler. So uh, they got built, he's had a f some uh, input in the area and responsible for these little cottages that's down the road that would have been for the staff here, because it's quite a prominent church here. There would have been a lot of uh, vibrancy around in around that time. Quite a nice little village, a few houses here, so it would have been a nice little settlement close to being to Lauf. Yeah, always better from inside looking out. Can't really make out what they are. We still on record. Yeah. <laughs> you see the these support columns, the limestone bottom. These chalk stone. I do love one. I hope we come across a, a church that's entirely made out of these chalk stone quarry blocks. That would be amazing, it'd be like so pure. I know like some of the Islamic mosques uh, in like Persia and in, in the Middle East, they're all like white marble and they're like spectacular. Like, I do like um, a good place of worship that's in, in whites because whites are pure, it's a pure colour, flecks a lot of energies, like black absorbs it. So I think like the restoration on this, you can see that the chalkstone has kind of held out on its own. The sandstone, iron stone, is starting to crumble. Limestone's pretty solid. You got your Victorian archway windows. Just not as good, a good replica, but just not as good as the original medieval ones. And Gothic era is such a uh, spectacular sight and detail. We've got some uh, restorations here. And this looks more modern. We tried to make it look older. I do believe all that red's splattered blood. Now it's fungus. <laughs> so you can see some earlier church would have been a stone effigy pointing out. There's probably some ley lines running right through here as well. We get my mate Stephen Phoenix. You'll have to teach me a little bit of the basics of dowsing if you're watching this video. I'd be honoured taught me the basics there's an established uh, tower that reminds me of some I've seen uh, down south so we've got that vibe some of these are more Victorian headstones Yeah, beautiful church. So you can't go up in the bell tower. You can get in the bell tower, but you can't get up the top, you see. So obviously when we was in the Victorian era, there's not many uh, 
Vikings and French trying to invade every bloody day. So uh, they want as mainly part of place of worship and not a defence fortress for settlements. Very peaceful. So here in St Mary's in Fotherby, the, the dead are laid to rest and resting in peace. Just seen uh, some of my relatives are named Cod. There's a Frederick Cod, or oh, an infant, 1850. Charles Tate Cod, eighteen thirteen, age five years. Oh, George Cod, age eight years. Charlotte Cod, who died nine years. November the twenty eighth, eighteen forty three. Who died November the twenty ninth, eighteen forty three. So age nine and eight. So they died. He they apart from each other. So I wonder if this was uh, disease related or an accident. Might have to check these out, see if they're part of my family tree. Uh, Francis Cod. Another Cod there. Cannot make it out. Oh. SC, age six. Right, sad. This has been defaced. Looks like a Cooper, this one as well. Cooper. These are very old. These are the old Victorian ones. That's a Cooper as well. That's so worn away. Well, oh, yeah, pretty good. So, that's it, St. Mary's. Um, we'll wrap it up there. Hope you enjoyed it. So, that's it, we'll leave it there. Remember to keep liking, sharing, subscribing, following the journey. Um, we've still got heaps more to do, so I'm enjoying this. We've done, I think this is 38, the 38th church in three months, so the journey's only just begun. So we'll leave it there. Remember to take care of yourselves and each other. God bless.